Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Here's Brandon. And the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The wind and the pitch. That's outside. And away we go this okay. afternoon. First pitch, 4 o'clock. Just ball. missed. Fly ball down the line. Thomas sizing it up. Reaches out for it, but can't make the play. And it drops foul in the corner. And that one fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the air, out towards left center. Guriel handles the chance. And there's one down. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience. Singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One out, base is empty. Oh. Just. Ripped into left center for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hand just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Francisco Lindor comes up to the play. Gallon checks on the run. Have to be creative pitch. Hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding hard to play isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing at. And the righty deals. Run around the move. On the ground to the left. Sneaks through. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one single. Two consecutive base hits. Here, the just a simple ball. ground ball the other way. They had on the ball, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A lot riding on the Texas bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point. This one, two on, one out, and next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double. Play. Comes up empty. That's big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. At the belt and fires. Up and in. And a count one and two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Joe Mantiply, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Thompson, the right hander, also getting loose. Oh. 
Next offering is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Strike out there. And generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you commit it. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Starling Marte. No. Just missed. Oh. Two on, two outs. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. And there's a strike in the outside corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with. a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here in the desert, today's starting pitcher, Jose Quintana. What do we need to know here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And a pitch. Right two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Now, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. And fouled off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, anytime you can punch out the top. They're on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setter, every hitter, any distraction. And instead of it being a three run homer. And now it's Christian Walker. And there's a ball. Two outs, base is empty. Gets it. Diamondbacks down quickly. Scoreless down to one. Here at Chase Field, and now the DH, DJ Stewart. The right hander back to work. That one at the knee. Slider 
for a strike. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And one out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. This foul something off. Extend that at bat. Alvarez. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. And here's the pinch runner, Tyrone Taylor. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Fastball for a strike. Righty delivers. That's outside, and it's a ball to strike. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Booth Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. And a big swing and a miss. Man, he used to absolutely turn on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Basement, Brett Beatty. Hit on the ground, might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Double play! What a twin killing to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. It's baseball, and it's on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Tyrone Taylor. He takes over and right. Well, one run game. And now here's the veteran D. Jack Peterson. The pitch. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Brings it. Rounder tags at second, throw into third, and makes it up to third with one away. A move being made at third. Here's the pinch runner for Arizona, Jace Peterson. And now the catch. Gabriel Moreno. The goal is to give your team chance to score from third there's a few ways he can get it done but his best chance is to drive one in the air look for the right and then Way high. action in the Mets bullpen Edwin Diaz the closer is getting loose Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh. Got a good eye there. I just feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. A. Eugenio Suarez in the on deck circle. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's the automatic. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it. And outside, and that is ball. Himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence is going to have to buckle down right here. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate. Takes low for ball.
Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Swings and misses. One and one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. That time. In the air, right field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 1 1. There he goes. RBI there. Straight it back. Got the job done. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Moreno off of first with two away. Lifted in the air now the left side. And just oh. foul. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. We play two full, all tied one. Now into the ball game on defense, Jace Peterson. He takes over as the new first baseman. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Harrison Bader up now for the Mets. Gallon back to work. Oh, just missed. One one. Fought off foul. Bounced up the middle. Oh, great grab on the top. Got him. Nice play. The commitment to make the play down on the ground from the knees. That's not just arm strength, guys. That's core strength as well. Look at that rocket across the diamond. Fielder Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 1. Headed down the line. Thomas sizes this one up. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Cut off. Now a throw home. Not in time. He beat it and they've got the lead. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. And now here's Jeff McNeil. One for one with a single so far. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He didn't want to give up that run, but he didn't. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Tapped softly on the ground. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets two and the Diamondbacks one. Set for the bottom of the third, here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. No left field. Yeah. The left next to work. Just no, missed. In today's game, outs are valuable. So guys aren't just willing to get out to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. 
Next offering is in for a strike. This is Corbin Carroll. That one finds the zone, and it's on one. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh. Missed with a changeup. Now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Cattell Marte. That one is absolutely... And an automatic double as it hops the fence. Oh boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. So two down. Now it's Jace Peterson. In the game is a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Ball one, no strike. Two outs. And that one fouled off. The other way. Brings it in for the third out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Three innings complete. We are tied 2-2. As we go to the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And a pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. What an Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Man, it's second. Get him swinging now, especially work 
work up in the zone these days. That's a devastating combination. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. This guy with light tower power. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball. Two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Back to back curveballs and back to back whiffs feel for what you can beat a hitter with and clearly he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all and now Tyrone Taylor entered the game as a pinch runner first plate appearance for him here last ball for a strike Go ahead, run in scoring position. Top half of inning number four. Deal two. That one missed. And he deals. Swing and a ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. McNeil headed home. He will score and they take the lead. 3 2. No, that at bat had a lot riding. He just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. Now it's DJ Stewart. There's a strike. On a bounce right side. And that is the third out of the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Edwin Diaz. I think closer has to be one of the toughest. Now, see a okay, high yeah. turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure. We'll see if he can wrap up. Lead Here's Jack Peterson. He's over one. Oh, how he'd love to walk no. it off right here. Peterson. And pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Right-handed reliever. And it's quickly nothing in two. Uh, the designated the pitch battling here as he fouls it away swings through it and that's a strikeout Man, that slider bearing in your hands like that. It's just so That's tough to fight right. off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat Here's you real. off, saw you off. Oh, you right. have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And fouled off.
The 0 1. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the down. And a couple of quick outs. Up next to the diamond. The third baseman. Eugenio. Whoa, so yeah. they're down to their final out. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Drove in a run with a sack by his first time up. And there's something to feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level is going up a few notches for sure. What an First offering misses badly for ball one. Swings through that one out in front. That time. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Off the inside edge. Two and one. Not really attacking on the mound in this bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Diaz is just one strike. And this is the zone. And that's ball three. Alec Thomas up next. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Outside, and that is ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are three passes, especially make the team their way out. But an opportunity to deliver the tying and maybe even a winning run. In there at the knees for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little further. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Late in the ball game, things can really slip away in a hurry. Guriel, the next to hit, takes it outside. and misses. And the count even one and one. 